Howdy y'all. A quick update on my water box 130.4 SPS dominant. The tank will be five years old on September of 2025, so just in a few months. Over the past four years, I've done my best to capture the growth process of the different SPS corals in my tank, because as I was doing research building my tank and my system, the one piece of information that never really seemed to be clear to me was how fast do corals grow? What does slow mean? Why quote-unquote high-end corals are so expensive? And of course, I realized that no two systems are alike and that for someone like myself who is a beginner, the growth rate might be a lot slower than it might be for someone who's been in the hobby for many, many years or decades. So I don't think that this is a representation of coral growth for everyone, per se, but I think that it might just give a general idea of the different growth rates from different kinds of SPS corals. So here we have the bonsai from WWC. I've started all of my corals from three quarter inch to one inch size frags, and here we are at seven months and at 12 months still growing pretty consistently and at 33 months. Interestingly, the bonsai is the only coral that has shown some very slow STN at the base, which has since subsided. Next we have Bali Green Slimer at seven months. Take it for what it's worth, but at 17 months, I began the Reef Moonshiners method and then did a follow up recording two months later and saw pretty substantial growth. Granted, there are so many variables at play, but for whatever it's worth. And here we have the growth after two months with Moonshiners. And finally, 33 months of growth. Next we have Upscale Microcladis from Reef Bum. And here it is at 12 months worth of growth. And 33 months of growth. Next we have TGC Cherry Bump. This has been a pretty slow growing coral for me. And you can see that even after 15 months, it just barely put out one little branch. Here we are at 18 months worth of growth. And 30 months of growth, which has amounted mostly to basing out. Here we have the CB Flaming Phoenix Montipora. Eight months of growth. Fourteen months of growth. And here again, I began the Moonshiner method and did a two month follow up recording. And here's what it looks like after two months with Moonshiners. Next, we have Bird of Paradise. Nine months of growth. Fifteen months of growth. And thirty months of growth. Next we have Montipora Confusa. This was probably one of my fastest growing corals in fact was so fast in proportion to the others that I had to remove it. 11 months of growth, 17 months of growth. Here we have Organ Blue Tort, also from Reef Bum. 8 months of growth. At 18 months of growth, I began the Moonshiners method.
followed by another recording three months later, and here's what it looked like. And here we are today at 33 months of growth. Here we have PC Superman tabling. Five months of growth. At this point, the acro seemed to have gone into some kind of hibernation. There was no growth for 12 months. However, two months after starting Reef Moonshiner method, I noted some new axial tip growth, which can be seen above. And here we are at 29 months of growth. Next we have BC Hyperberry from Reef Bum. This has been by far the slowest growing coral for me. It's possible that placement is the main issue. Here's 8 months of growth. 14 months of growth. And 20 months of growth. Next we have BC Bohemia, the fastest growing Acropora that I have. This is, however, the most recent addition to my collection, which makes me wonder whether its growth rate has to do more with the stability of the tank. 12 months of growth. And 24 months of growth. Finally, we have ASD Rainbow Millie. This Millie has been slow to grow, lost most of its original colors, and has yet to really take off even after 21 months. And finally, 21 months of growth. Thank you for watching.